about this two pocket knife to replace the one I lost. This one with the carbon fiber weighed 43 grams and this weighed 106 grams. The little tie right now and so I can whip it out. <laughs> The they got re grounded too flat, re hardened to about 61 Rockwell. 61 Rockwell. I mean, I did it twice and both times come out 61 Rockwell. Even though when I bought it, it labeled S30V blade. No, it's not S30V. It's uh, definitely uh, something like a CR13MOV, something like that. And this one also was hollow ground and I re flat, uh, full flat grinded. And this thing have, uh, is a sand mine, have 38 layer on each side. It's supposed to be the VG10 core. So, anyway, I mean, I re hardened this also. And I think it's about 62 Rockwell because I don't have a direct comparison. But I, while I rehardened, I I did it along with another with N690, which is about, about similar to VG10, and that one got 63 Rockwell. And when I braved it with each other, the uh, N690 uh, cut this one, and the edge of this one will the 60 Rockwell fire escape on the edge of this one so but this one f feel like about 62 and this is 61 and so but this thing definitely not S30V otherwise it would come out 65 Rockwell and anyway both of these things shop about 12 degree per side in other words 24 25 degree inclusive no micro bevel and in this edge Sharp enough to cut from book paper. This one I free handed it, and then after that I hit one too. And then could be a little wire here and there. And so, and this was how I do to remove the initial uh, wire edge. Very soft wood. Rose wood. Now oh, this one a grain edge. I mean, a grain against grain. But anyway. Sometimes I was scared because you know, there are a wire still on it and it got fold over so they weren't able to dig into the wood. Anyway, and now this is uh, blue gum. Actually, this one, the heart of the, the um, blue gum or eucalyptus, it's actually quite hard. Harder than this wood. I mean, which is twice as hard as oak, by the way. So, for comparison. And this is super hard. This is Catalox. Start with a you know, K A T A L O X. And that one give a tough time on this edge already. It's uh it actually ripple a little bit because when you have wire edge, it's a uh, fold edge over. But uh, anyway, bone, 
This is just for see whether or not this have sufficient strength to dig into this well, this bone. When the edge really thin, it won't, and then it will deflect upward when you try to dig into it. So it needs to be minimum. Ideally, it's about 62 and up in terms of hard, rock well hardness and up before dig well. But uh, it's not going to be crazy whittling here. We get testing. If it's not strong enough, it won't be able to, to make a sliver like that. And this one struggle a little bit here at that hardness. And I can feel the edge got a little. There you go, you hear that noise? A little bit of noise. It's uh, roll a little bit over. Now it won't dig anymore because we go to the extra tough part of the bun. But no damn have much damage or anything. And it just uh just a little sixty one rockwood is not strong enough. That's all. That's what it's all meant. There you go, it caught a little bit right there on the right there, it caught. Because I need to clean it out a little bit. This is uh DMT extra fine. About twelve hundred grit or something like that. So, but uh, this in uh, the behind the edge thickness on this thing, this edge blade right here is about uh, five thousand of an inch. Now it was extremely thin. I don't know how many. It's uh, less than like like point three, no point two or something, point two five millimeter. I think is that so? Something a lot thinner than that though. This doesn't sound right. But anyway, and while this thing here, a little thicker behind the edge, probably about eight out or thousand behind the edge here. And so I say too bad if there were this would be an S thirty V blade or even a D two blade then when I can get up the hardness um then uh, it would be an awesome I mean would be the ideal carry. But at this uh, for the purpose cutting fruit and cutting soft stuff, it's fantastic. And this thing can handle a little bit more. And thanks for watching.